Hi guys, Sandra Lemming here. Um, just coming to you with a very, very short tutorial video. This tutorial video is uh, about sitemaps, how to create sitemaps, and it is a beginner's guide to sitemaps, okay? So let's keep this short, all right? So you come to your website, uh, you need to create a sitemap for your website, it's very important, um, and then you also need to hand up your sitemap to Google. This is what helps uh, search engines call your, your site, is having a sitemap. So you're on your website. I use an extension, a plugin, uh, to create my sitemap. I use a, a plugin called uh, WordPress SEO. Okay, here's, the, here's the, the plugin already installed and set up. Uh, and as you can see, it has uh, XML sitemaps in there. Uh, you can create XML sitemaps online with other free tools. Uh, which I can include some links in this in my blog post about sitemaps, the Be uh, beginner's guide to sitemaps, um, and there's also uh, a Google um, sitemap plugin as well. But I use SEO because it does a lot of other things besides just sitemaps. Okay, so you, you've installed the, you have your plugin, uh, you create your sitemap. Okay, so you'll click on uh, XML sitemaps. And your page will open. Here it will open. Okay, uh, and you would have done all of this in your sitemap area as you went through the setting up. Okay, uh, I'll also, um, you know, you just keep it basic, or you can just leave it on the defaults. Uh, then you just, you know, you click here. Um, you know, you check this box to make sure this box is checked. Um, when you come here, if you're on default, you haven't done this before, um, make sure this box is checked. Uh, you don't have to worry about the other boxes, but you know, I, I do like to ping Yahoo and um, ask. Um, I exclude my uh, media attachments. You might want to leave your media attachments in, so you'll uncheck that box. Um, and I exclude uh, tags um, as well. You know, I, I don't need the sitemap uh, being able to crawl and search all my tags. Okay. Um, so I want to create my sitemap, so I'll click on XML sitemap. And this will go to work creating your sitemap. Okay, and here it here you go. It's created some sitemaps. All right, you've got your post sitemap, you've got your page sitemaps, you've got categories, uh, and you've got an author sitemap. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is you need to hand these up to your um, to your Google Webmaster tool, so that Google can start to crawl your site and understand what your site is about. Uh, now you know the easiest way to get to that is simply by typing in um, Google Webmaster Tools. I have the link saved here. Okay, so I'll leave this up for a second so you can see the link. Uh, so you can save that somewhere. Okay, so you just need this link, copy and paste that link. Or just type in uh, Google Webmaster Tools. Okay. Uh, make sure you're logged in to your um, Gmail account that you've used to set up your Google Webmaster account with, okay? So make sure you've got that, that Gmail account. Uh, make sure you've got that, that account opened, okay? So we'll paste that in, click on search, and this will take us to the Google Webmaster Tools page. This will be the home page that it'll take us to. Uh, like I said, make sure you're logged into your Gmail account that you use to set up your Google Webmaster account with, okay, which you would have done in earlier steps uh, with the SEO Yast tool if you're using the SEO Yast tool, okay. Um, and as you can see, you can add sites, you can verify sites, and you can manage sites. Okay, now the site that I'm on is this site here, and what we want to do is want to click on that. Okay, I've already added a sitemap before, but uh, you know we want to come down to here and like click on crawl, come down to sitemaps. This is all you need for beginners. This is all you need to do. Hand up your sitemap. Now mine will look a little bit different to yours if you haven't done this before, because I've already handed up a sitemap. Okay, and I've already got you know um, things happening. You know, pages submitted and and uh, you know indexed and stuff. But how you add your sitemap, this is how you do it. You'll click on. You won't have any information here if you haven't done it before. 
So what you'll do is you click on Add Site Map, and as you can see, it's got a URL of your your website that you're trying to add submit site map for. So you'll go to these links here that you you had earlier on, and you will copy and paste just that end code there. See just that end code there. You'll copy that. And you go to here and you will click there and you will add it to your sitemap there. You'll paste it there. Okay, and then that's your sitemap. And then you'll submit your sitemap. You can test the sitemap, okay? So, you know, you'll submit sitemap. It'll say, please wait. You can refresh the page. It'll do its thing, as you can see. It's doing its thing. There you go. Um, and this is what you should get if all is good. Um, if you haven't entered the code in properly here um, and you've accidentally copied the whole code here, um, you know, you don't need this part of that URL. You just need the end part of your URL, just this little part after the dash. Okay, so you just need that end part of the URL to add into there. So that whole thing is a whole URL. So that, that URL now is this, this whole URL here. So you just need the end and you can go ahead and do that on all of those if you wish. Uh, add them in and click submit sitemap and you know it will start doing its thing. So that's how easy it is for a beginner to do sitemaps. Uh, you don't have to worry about trying to understand anything else. Okay, just get your sitemap generated um, and get it added into Google. Once you've done that, um, then what you need to do on your page, uh, on your website, is you'll need to create a sitemap navigation page. Okay, so basically what you'll do is you'll go into pages and you'll add new. And while that's loading, you'll add a sitemap navigation page. So you'll enter sitemap in here. You can call it just sitemap if you want. Uh, you can call it sitemap, sitemap navigation page, whatever. You just call it sitemap. And then you'll go in here and you'll go ahead and you'll create um, the sitemap page. Now, what that'll look like is, you know, down here you'll, um, you'll have you most you put your most important pages so you, you might put home um, about um, you know and whatever other pages that you have um, once you've got those in <coughs> in there you know you you may want to put them to the left uh, if you want you can you know put them in the middle entirely up to you um, you know you can t make them bigger if you wish uh, you know, you can go a heading one with them if you like. You can change the color of them. You know, you might choose a, a blue text color. Uh, and then all you'll do is you'll hyperlink this here. So you'll click on hyperlink and you'll put a hyperlink in there to that home page. So, you know, you'll put your URL in there, um, you know, of whatever page that is. So, you know, um, if that's you know if that's home, you'll go and get the URL from your website, and the easy way to do that is visit site, open link, um, and have your site opened up in another link, and you'll get the URLs for each of these pages, and you'll hyperlink those uh, just like that. Um, and so when a person comes to your website and they come to your sitemap page. They can have a look at this and they can click on either one of those pages and it'll redirect them to whatever page that is. So, you know, once you've set up your sitemap, you know, and you've published your page, uh, you've done everything you need to do um, for Google um, and for people visiting your site. You now have a sitemap, you have a sitemap navigation page. 
and it's all really, really easy, um, you know, and you've hyperlinked those, you know, so if I wanted to hyperlink those, this would be my home page, you know, so I can just copy that, that link there, because it's my home page, copy, go here, hyperlink that with this URL here, okay, and, um, you know, you can just put type in home there if you want, you don't even have to worry. Um, and you can open the link in a new tab or you can just leave it as it is and you would add the link and that is now hyperlinked as you can see to the home page. All right, so that's sitemaps uh, made easy for beginners. Um, you know, follow the link down below to the blog post which will explain more about sitemaps for beginners. Um, I hope this has made it easy for you to get in and get your sitemaps done. This is a WordPress site that I'm using, so you know this is a, obviously these are WordPress plugins. Uh, but you know if you need help creating sitemaps and stuff like that, I'll also put some links in the blog post, which will take you to some help pages uh, in Google, uh, which can walk you through how to create other ways to create sitemaps. Well, that's that's from that's me, Sandra Lemon from IndependentMarketing.com. Have a really great day, and I hope this has made it easy for beginners to. Uh, create their sitemaps and submit their sitemaps to Google and start getting their, their pages and their posts and their, their website indexed and crawled by Google and found easier in the search engine. Bye, have a great day.